Hi, welcome to the Uintas. Previously on Paul Green Blogs. I just randomly woke up. I didn't, uh, I was just woken up by the sun. The sun came in through the tent, it was very warm. I had to open the doors and take off the mummy bag. I was in, I was wrapped. No one in camp is out of their tent at the moment. So I thought I would go on a little walk to the edge of our cliff. Here people over here enjoying Wall Lake. Didn't think there was any birds around this area. It's probably just because it was so cold last night, but you can hear them and you saw that one that wouldn't move. I'm out of water. I didn't pack uh, a lot in on purpose because I knew I would be trying to use this. And it's my life straw. I want to be able to either pull from the lake or uh, this little tepid stream that's near our camp that is not moving. It's very much still water. So I'm going to try out the life straw for the very first time. Wish me luck. Last night I woke up to the oddest sound. It had to have been two or three in the morning. I'm not sure exactly, but I had been away. I had been asleep for several hours, and we went to bed after midnight. And I heard this call. I didn't know if it's an elk or if it was. Couldn't have been an elk because it was a very strange call. I've never heard it <clears throat> before. I didn't know if it was someone joking around, walking in the woods, but it was this loud. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Almost like it reminded me instantly of the raptors in Jurassic Park, the ones that could kind of like vocalize. Because what animal would call like that? It was like three times, woke me right up. And I was so tired I just went back to sleep. I could have got a flashlight out, but it was pretty cold and I was nice and bundled up with only about this much of my face showing out of my bag. Weird. came across this little puddle of water. I don't know if I dare try it. It's a little mossy. It has a slight yellow tinge to the water, or orange. I know there have been cow droppings, uh, pies all over the place here. There was cows here at some point. And I noticed some mushrooms here. So there's some fungus growing. There's moss growing over here. It's very questionable, but can the life straw hack it? I'm nervous. I want to try it out, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, I keep inching my way closer and closer. I've got my empty bottle and my life straw. All I need to do is pop the cap 
on this side, pop the cap on this side, put the end of the straw into the water, and suck. <laughs> I just can't bring myself to do it, because <laughs> I've never done it before. Is it focusing on? And I'm going to fill this bottle. I'm going to rinse it out first with clean water after I spit the water into it. I'll probably put this around my neck so that it doesn't, I don't drop it. Okay, here I go. I had some, I had a, a little mix in yesterday with this. So I'm gonna clean it out so I, I don't see any other colors in it. So far the taste is very clean. It doesn't taste like anything. Okay, now I'm gonna fill this bottle. this water looks very clear probably just the floaties that I made when I was eating with it last night and when you're done with the life straw you blow outward taste clean. Pretty good so far. Doesn't taste like really anything. Just tastes like very, it's very cold. Uh, clean water. Thanks to the live straw. Huh, I think it just might work. camp now and I'm testing this water that I sucked out of the life straw and I'm just telling these guys it is so clear and smooth it doesn't have any taste it's not Aquafina by the way it's pond water and it's probably some of the best water I've ever had really just because of the no taste, no can, no like, no mineral taste. Because with some uh, water, to me, it has a gritty, minerally taste. This is just smooth. Cut to me on the toilet with diarrhea. <laughs> Ten minutes later, I hope not. But it tastes really good. Also, I guess there wouldn't be a toilet out here. I'd just be in the bushes. This butterfly landed on me. I tried to get a shot of it, but it flew away. I don't think you can see it, but it landed right on me. It's probably like, good luck to you. Don't get diarrhea. One bright morning in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to a fight. Back to back they faced each other, drew their swords and shot each other. The deaf policeman heard the noise. He went out and shot those two dead boys. If you don't believe my lie is true, ask the blind man. He saw it too. 
all of them is crystal clear as day. Do you day. like dark? Yeah, I do. Don't show Paul. Take that. It's cool. <laughs> What's this? I shouldn't have brought all the trees. <laughs> We're gonna go on a hike. We're leaving our bags here. Uh, another one. And and stuff. Most of our stuff. Usually people are pretty respectful and not touching established camps. So we're just going to go for a little hike and then hike back to the car. Big tree. Walk. out there. Robert Downing Jr. actually owned this property called the Downed Forest. And you can see why. It's pretty self-evident. just off trail out here what is this this looks suspicious man seems like there would be something under there oh my gosh look at this look it's Dave's hand we found, oh. we found Dave's hand oh wow I was just uh, cooling it off don't worry oh okay <laughs> make it real <laughs> We went off trail, but we found the trail again, and we found the other lake. I time lapse I've noticed these roots look at these roots just take a minute
iPhone on its head. Linear Lake. Okay, this, this will help keep the tigers away, all right? So just like this, and you'll be safe. Yeah? Yeah? Okay, go ahead and try it. causes blisters, so you're gonna dry your socks out if you've gone for a while. Dry your feet out. And then we're gonna load it all into our backpacks and go back down the trail. Thanks for watching guys. We're hiking back down. You probably don't need to see that again. But uh, thanks for watching. There's bugs everywhere. It was a great hiking the thousand lakes of the Hiuintas. We only saw about four of them, but it was a lot of fun. Hit the notification bell to be notified of Monday videos. Or just come back every Monday. I'll have a video up every Monday. Subscribe, thumbs up, be excellent to each other, and ta ta, -ta, -ta for, for now. now. Click something.